right, welcome back to CNC Equipment YouTube channel. We got something a little bit different for you today. We got the uh, old Mack truck out here. It's actually my dad's truck. We'll go over that in a second. But uh, it's getting a new bed. Dad bought this thing. I think it's a 2000 Mack RB. Bought it new. Got it in June of 99. So it's 24-ish years old. Um, truck's got like 130,000 miles on it. So not very many miles for a truck. Um, but uh, the old bed's starting to get a little bit thin on it. Uh, he bought this truck right out of high school when I got out of high school. You know I put 13,000 miles on this truck the first summer. Did you? And I was over driving a dump truck. Huh. It's brand new. Didn't really want anybody else driving it. But uh, anyway, we're going to put a new bed on it. This bed's kind of solid in places and then it's kind of not. So <laughs> Structurally, the main channels and stuff's pretty good yet. When he had this bed built, he had, had it built out of 316th. So sides and floor which is kind of heavy but it's starting to get a little thin up here in these upper pockets and stuff um, the floor is actually pretty solid and everything yet but it needs quite a bit of work a guy could replace these patch those up and all that stuff but uh, we got a brand new bed sitting here for him so I've had this for a little while it's all set up built for this truck um, this is a smooth side hard ox bed it's all built out of hard ox steel um, smooth side I do know we got this set up for a two-way barn door tailgate so you can latch it around this way something else i think no kevin this is supposed to have what they call a nine panel tailgate and i believe we have three more of these pieces laying somewhere that need welded in right there makes a little stiffer so we're gonna have to put those in you guys see this one's a nine panel tailgate gives a little extra strength and rigidity we gotta do a couple other modifications to that um, we're gonna put a two by eight sideboard on it i'm gonna do that out of steel show you that here a little bit later so first thing we've been doing some figuring this morning we're got to cut this bed off unfortunately i've got a new hinge for it so this truck's got like 130,000 miles on it which is not very much but we possibly could reuse that hinge but the spacing's not right for this new bed i'll show you that here in a second but uh so we're gonna have to cut that hinge out unfortunately this hydraulic tank's not going to work because it's a little bit too wide at the bottom so we got to put a new trunnion out we're gonna put a new cylinder on it that one's getting leaky it's a lot of fun stuff going on here so hmm. this bed is smooth one piece side it's kind of made a little bit different i kind of build strength into the bed by using angles and stuff so you guys looked at other hinges mounted on the chain on each side we can't do that on this one fortunately so uh i'm just gonna whack the whole hinge out so we need to start unhooking the air tailgate and all that good stuff up there and i'll probably cut around here with the plasma cutter or torch i'll cut a lot of this out and then we'll put the bed down cut the rest of it off and we'll unhook the pin from the very top up there magically set it off here it's just that easy yeah. aren't you glad i brought this over i am, <laughs> I am. She ever goes down, bub. Last time she's done. It's an emotional moment.
All right, got the bed all off here, as you guys can see. Um, this had a five inch notch in it before five inch. We're putting a six inch hinge in here, so I've got to square this up. Plasma cutter. It's gonna hit these lights. I'm gonna do away with these lights. These lights are kind of old school and junk. We'll probably put some rubber isolated ones in there. These do not last very long on a dump truck. They shake the bulbs and bust loose, so probably do away with those. Put some oval lights or something in there. I have to get a backup light too in there for them. Um, the guys are gonna take this uh, trunnion off up here, unbolt it. This tank is too wide for our new bed, so we're gonna do it away with all that. It's still good stuff yet, but uh, we're gonna put all new stuff on it, so it's all new again. And then I think Kevin is gonna work his magic, repaint this frame. I painted this bed and frame and stuff on this probably about, I don't know, 12 years ago or so. It's been a while, so, but uh, it's ready, ready again. It's still a good solid truck, so. I'm gonna get to cutting that out and uh, we'll get a new hinge in here. Maybe Tucker will show up by then. It's only 9.30 though. I may have to weld that in. Yeah, yeah, Randy. Hey, that's when you know you stink, you know what? You that say you fly, stink? That fly just hit me and dropped dead. I don't blame him. <laughs> he ain't supposed to be alive in November. Mm. How's this going here? Well, Where's my way? You know, you want me to come over here and put you on national television? <laughs> Watch all your struggle buses? Sometimes you just get a struggle bus. What grade five the, bolts they put in there. Double frame with a bracket on a bracket. Yeah, yeah. Leads to a big hole. You got what, one bolt left? Yep. I'm going to pull that whole assembly out. I got the back all cleaned up, got our notch cut in there, ground out, ready to throw the hinge on here. I'm going to grind some paint off it, get it all squared up, and weld her in there. Man, somebody did a good job welding that. It wasn't you. But guess what? You're getting ready to weld up here. Got that all welded on. Tucker did weld on the glad hands. This truck was set up to pull a uh, trailer. Still got to put some lights and stuff back here. Uh, we took the old trunnion off. We got a new one here. The guys cleaned the frame up. We got it primed and everything. Uh, Tucker drilled some holes in these angle irons, so we're going to bolt those to the truck frame. All new. And then we'll set the trunnion on there, and Tucker can weld that on. Three foot welds on each side, bud. You ready? Slide your forks together. Got the trunnion all in there, squared up. Tacker's gonna tacker. I called you Tacker Tucker. Yeah. <laughs> Tucker's gonna tack that in there, and then we're gonna fit in the hydraulic tank. Make sure it fits. We've got one hole up here that's hitting on a cross member. We got to re-drill it over here so we can get to it later. Make sure it fits. We'll take the tank back off. Uh, we gotta put the bed props on, and we're gonna lay a piece of 3/8 strap on here for our protection over the frame, so the bed will come down and hit on that 3/8 wear strap instead of the frame. This thing's ready for paint. Didn't even save him. Your tack broke. No, it didn't. You hit it with the hammer. I'm not stupid. <laughs> All right, Tucker got this all welded up last night. We got that tank fitted. Put a couple uh, guides in there if the bed's off center to line it up. Got new prop rods in there. Kevin drilled a bunch of holes back you here. You want to see my new reason. shirts? Hey, that's my new shirt. Nice. What about this marker? That's mine. That's <laughs> going home in the bucket. <laughs> it goes in the bucket. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin's a marker thief. <laughs> he puts a Facebook profile picture up of a turbo in a car. Yeah. And I look down in the corner of the picture and there's like eight markers laying on top of this front. Hey, eight, 18 oh. maybe. Hey. It all comes from me, I guarantee Can you buy Sharpies anywhere? No. All the way from here. <laughs> I don't pay for them. <laughs> anyway. It's part of the perks. We got a backup light in the middle. Uh, stop and turn. We got our three lights back here. We got a saw too. You can't hear nothing out there.
All right, we got, we got our light brackets in there. Kevin drilled a bunch of holes in there. Got a backup alarm going on. We got a, a terminal relay or whatever you call it. Wire junction. Yeah, sure. We're gonna do away with the old backup alarm. It didn't work. Um, prop rods, all that stuff's done on this truck, right? That's right. We're gonna take the tires off. Kevin or Randy's gonna wash it. And you're probably gonna dust it with sandblaster maybe a little bit or something. It's gonna repaint the frame rails and everything. The cab, the cab is good. So the guys are out here making all this racket. They're cutting two by eight, um, eighth inch wall tubing. They're actually gonna make sideboards out of it for this bed. So hopefully grandpa does not tear them off this time. So you guys see these, these boards here are a little worse for wear, but uh, we're gonna make something hopefully indestructible. But uh, we're gonna pull that in next. I gotta do, they didn't put any brackets in the center of this bed. And they only have the pockets set for an inch and three quarters. So I'm going to cut the inside of the pockets out, widen those a little bit to fit this uh, two by eight tubing. Tucker's going to weld some end caps on there. Then the other thing we're going to do, we're going to put this angle arm on top of there like that. You guys see that? So when it's sitting up here for dirt or gravel or something sitting there, it's going to what they call dirt shedding. It's not going to, it won't have no flat spot to sit, so it's going to fall off. Um, but yeah, it's coming along. Kevin's got a lot of paint work and stuff to do, for sure. All right, got the bed in here. We're gonna do a few modifications to it. We gotta add a couple of uh, brackets here in the center. We gotta widen those out. Actually cutting some new ones out here at the moment. <laughs> he no likey. Hey, that's your dad said he got you a little something special today. I, I got it. <sighs> Is that a curse? No. Okay, boy. We got our super sweet side board. Real brackets welded on. Go one to the other side. Hey, keep up the good work. Did you get it? Oh, but you nailed it. I thought like you were showing putting on a pass in there. Go for it. We're not scared. We got nothing but time. Hey Bob, we're getting paid for it. It was almost slightly loud. You got it, bub. Okay, my best friend Tucker got done welding in our side pockets. And we gotta get extra big side pockets because we're not traditional dump truck drivers. We don't use wood sides. That would be a conventional inch and a half. We go bigger, we go two, because we get carried away. And look at this. Where's my welder? Oh, he's on welder brake. He'll be back and we'll weld this up real soon. Tucker! What you doing, Tucker? Welding up some sideboards? Yeah, there's this much gap. Do you think Grandpa would tear, tear these up? Yeah. So I've been busy cutting steel out for these guys. And I got a couple mud flap bracket hangers for the front up here. It's gonna go something like that so to protect the tanks and the cab on the truck. They got all the board brackets on. Uncle Scott's out here. It's beautiful weather. That's right. Man, look at them wheels I painted. Ride, huh? Nice. Right. So, we've got old wheels and new wheels. New wheels were 
Like dirt cheap, right? Dirt cheap. They're just a click over a hundred bucks for new wheels. And so by the time we paid labor to sandblast these old ones, reprime them, paint them, it's uh, going to be more beneficial. He hasn't just, got my bill yet. That's right. Well, labor and all that stuff, it's cheaper and quicker just to put new wheels. We're just going to put them on the outside so she's looking all pretty. Well, somebody's getting it. Oh, Bob. Is that a Honda? I think it is. V-Tech. I think it's only running on three cylinders. He slowed down for the tracks. Put it on the two step. Put it on the two step. Woo! He ain't got it. If it you ain't, ain't first, you're last. It ain't boosted yet. Anyway, he does too big red though. I can tell. That's right. <laughs> Aren't you happy I saved you all this work here? I am. I am too. By the time we taped all those up, two guys would have been lucky to get them done in a day, probably. And I uh, just. You want to be a truck I've been out here about 18 minutes. Uncle Scott's good at it. He's quick. Yeah. I couldn't have done it without my brunt boots. That's right. That's right. You guys need your brunt boots? Go down in the description. There's a uh, code for ten dollars off. Anyway, Tucker's gonna get those all welded up. Um, bed's ready to go to paint, ain't it? I think we're gonna wash it. It's been sitting. Then we're gonna scuff it, reprimer it. Then we're gonna shoot some paint on it. So we'll bring you guys back. <laughs> pretty frame pretty frame pretty 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 frame bye bye alright got the truck in here Mr. Mason's torquing all the lug nuts down getting them all tight um, we'll touch all those lug nuts and stuff up I'm going to work on a bunch of little wiring details. We got that uh, backup arm, lights, all that stuff. I'm going to run a wire up to the truck. We're going to put a tarp system on the bed and all that stuff. But a lot of boring stuff. I'll get all that done and bring you guys back in. Show you that and then we'll probably set the hydraulic tank, put the cylinder on, fill it up with oil. We'll have this thing ready to go for the bed. Kevin, Randy's over next door sanding on the bed. We're going to shoot primer on it today and probably green tomorrow. Randy got the boards all sanded off looking good, so we're getting there. All right, got everything done, wiring, um, got all the tail lights, got the backup lights working, um, got this junction box in here, everything in there nice and neat, backup alarm. I uh, got our tarp system all wired up, relays and stuff done up under the hood, all that good stuff, so we're ready to set the bed on. Boys have the uh, hydraulic tank, they're going to set it up here next. Maybe. It sits right in here as you guys remember and we'll get it bolted down. Then we'll stick the uh, cylinder in. Watch that. Can't go up. Watch the back of the cab. Yeah. This song, you, got, this song. you got it out? Yeah, now I do. Alright, Mr. Mason's got the cylinder. Look who showed up to help. Always at the last stage of the project. Can we go up, Mason? There you go. Why don't you uh, slide your forks together a little bit? Slide your forks together. That'll work. Now drive in towards the cab a little bit. Keep coming in. Now you're 
not. Keep coming in. Keep coming. When you hit it, stop. Get the side chip that way. Go down. Down. Today. Truck is all but done waiting on Kevin and his bed. You just got her primer, don't you? That's right, bud. That one hose on there. I'm gonna fill that tank up full of oil. And uh, he's going to spray the green on the bed tomorrow. Put two coats of primer over that old primer. We'll sand it out a little bit. Then uh, we'll probably let it sit today. We gotta go pick up a dozer and uh, we'll come back and we'll set the bed on. All right, got the truck ready. Me and Kevin got the bed painted. He's on the crane, that's scary. Got her out here in the sun looking all good. I'm gonna fire the truck up, get it out here, and uh, we're gonna back underneath of it.
All right, we're inside the bed. We got her on there, fitting good so far. So what we're gonna do, we gotta get this cylinder. You like that little cover, don't you? No, no, no. We gotta get the cylinder hooked up to the bed, and then we'll get it all lined up nice and straight. And well, the back. You and don't if, have it yet. If you don't see that cover, so huh? We don't know where it went. <laughs> Kevin's over here talking about El Camino again. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, we magically That's got off. Oh, there's a big hump in the bed here. Oh, just like a trampoline, ain't it? There you go. You fixed it. They probably can't see it. Oh, heavy got it. All right. Got everything up here for now. My goal is it's supposed to rain tomorrow. We're just going to try to get this welded on and uh, get it up in the air and get the rest of it welded. And tomorrow we'll. Uh, Put the tarp on. Tarp, tarp. On tarp Friday. All right, we're gonna pick the bed up, and he's squeaked over about a sixteenth of an inch. You got your side shift good. Oh, easy there. Yeah, whatever, operator. Come on in. Come on in some more. All right, now go up. Up, easy. Up a little more. Let's see if you can side shift to me. Go up some more. Up. All right, now side shift. Yeah. Set her down there. I'll take a look at it. I'm trying to wind everything up. Yeah, I like that better. That ought to work. All right, got her all welded on there. It's kind of hard to film underneath there. I'm gonna fire this thing up. We should be ready to pick it up. I can finish welding top side of the hinges. I put the air tailgate and stuff on there and touch her up. She's up here. I think it goes up a little bit more actually hitting the uh, trailer valves that I stuck in here. It just started hitting those, so may have to put a fitting on those and 45 them down or something, but that's uh, minor. 
I'm gonna finish welding all this up here. And then we gotta get our air tailgate stuck in there. Run our wires up. We'll be getting there. You okay? Yeah. Yep. Grind that out and fix it. it sucks with the weld outside. I was trying to shield it with the uh, cardboard and hold the camera and everything at the same time. It don't work when I welded that before lunch. Besides, it wasn't windy, but uh, so we got the air tailgate cylinder in there. Airlines are going to run to that, and they actually run these latches right here and open the tailgate up. I'll be done from inside the cab. So we got it on there. We're gonna finish welding that up, set it down. That's all I'm gonna do on this truck for today. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so everything else we can do inside. We'll have to touch up some paint and stuff on this. Tomorrow afternoon, maybe, when it's not raining. It's supposed to rain in the morning, so we'll work on the uh, tarp arms and all that stuff inside. All right, we're gonna attempt to put a tarp on without instructions, because that's what we do. That's right, because we're men. It's been a year or two since I put these on. So we've got this big spring's gonna go up under the bed. These are marked pastures and uh, drivers. Hopefully you have a driver under your big sausage fingers. <laughs> nope. Huh. I do know the other side says passenger, so we'll go with it. So that big spring's gonna be on there. Basically when the tarp winds up, it puts spring tension on it. And when it unwinds, the spring helps unwind the tarp and keeps it tight. So does that make sense? Sure. So we're gonna get these mounted up. I got some stainless. They gave us hardware. I'm gonna put some stainless bolts out here, so it, uh, don't mind that right there. Or that one. This, that was my signature. You know what? When the tarp arms this way, you won't see it. Or when it's this way, you won't see it. <laughs> That's a good part about it. The sideboard's put on. I had to go get a piece of tarp. I'll show you that in a second. Got her lined up, bud. up the road to the neighbors and get these two pieces they were actually hey you dropped your nuts bud <laughs> they're actually missing out of the kit and i've had this kit for like over two years so uh i'm just gonna replace theirs i'll take them on here like that and i'll show you guys here in a second i got everything you just bring yourself and your hammer it's a good thing you're here today that's why they pay me the big bucks Trying to do this one hand, it's working out real good for me too. That's good. Keep going. Did Randy drop that? Yeah, that's what happened. Pork pal ball. How about the hammer? I'm not even here to defend himself for it. Hmm. It'd be fine. Hit the bottom. Randy, get the 10 pound sledgehammer. We need a big hammer, Randy. <laughs> We're far away from that. We're gone. 
Don't worry, I got it. We got it. We may have put it in the press. <laughs> or may not have. Just slide that on there. You don't have to tell everybody our secret. Yeah, it's off camera. We fixed it. I can't see anything. All right, we got those on there, so they're gonna have spring tension as soon as we start picking up about right there. So to still have a little bit there, and when that tarp motor winds all the way up, it's gonna have a bunch, so it's gonna allow it to unwind, keep the tarp nice and tight. All right, guys, we're getting all the power with the Hercules. You might need a little more, a little more power, bud. Yeah. So. Uh, those arms are adjustable. We took a tape measure, measured from that center point up, up to where the tarp's going to stow. And we took a measurement from here, where we want it sitting here. Made sure they're both even and set that arm to that length. So we're going to go up top, go ahead and get the motor and uh, the uh, tarp and all that stuff put up there. we we'll get it all hooked up and then we can pick these arms up and put the tarp through it. I'll hold that out over there. All right, we think we got everything hooked up. Um, okay, hit the open button. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, all right, let's look and see what we got going on. You got plenty of clearance over here, Kevin? Yeah. Go ahead, Randy. Your paint all right on the side? That arm? Yeah. Will it stop? Now when he lets off of it. Easy, Randy. Let's go. Go a little bit more. Keep going. You all right on the side? Oh, that's good. I'm afraid to put my head on. It's hitting good there on the rivers. Yep. How's it? Looks good. Leave it there and put the pipe on. Yeah, let's have him unwind it. Unwind it now. Let's see if it works this way. Yeah. Hey man, we got roaches. <laughs> oh look, there's another one. <laughs> All right, got some uh, custom mud flaps on there. Kevin's even putting a custom sticker on the back. It is crooked, bud. Everybody's telling you. Right side's gotta go down. We got mud flaps on the front part of the uh, bed here in front of the tires so I don't sling stuff up on the tank. We've got some mud flap anti-sail brackets so they don't blow back. I think we're gonna put a couple more stickers on the side for advertisement. Oh yeah? Yeah what do you think? I gotta pay for this somehow right? That's all right.
you guys can tell how steep that bed is in the picture but it goes way up there it's got the five stage hoist makes the dirt come out a lot better for sure so all right we got to do a couple more things and we're about done with this project we got to touch up around these hinges we put this wear strap under here we got to touch it up and this cable right here i got to hook this cable up what this does when that bed goes up it will pull on that cable right at the last moment you adjust it right actually kicks the pump into neutral so if the operator's sitting there holding that lever in the raised position it could just keep building pressure and blow a cylinder line pump or something like that up but that cable will pull out we'll get it adjusted right where it pulls out right when it goes up and it will kick the uh, pump in neutral so the guy keeps sitting there with the handle push forward in the raised position it's not going to do anything so yeah she's uh coming along i'm happy with how it turned out tarp's working good nice angle on that so very pleased with it um i gotta grease the bottom of the cylinder too but uh just about there all right that wraps that up we got the uh, paint touched up under i'm gonna leave the bed up a little bit so it dries and everything but uh we think it turned out really good for a few people that don't work on dump trucks but yeah it's gonna give uh, a lot of life for that dump truck so um if you guys like this video do me a big favor go down below and hit that thumbs up button it doesn't cost you guys anything and uh, if you want to see more cool stuff make sure you subscribe if you like the old mac dump truck drop your comments below i know there's some uh there's some guys in there that's got some uh mac trucks for sure i've seen some comments so but uh as always guys we appreciate you watching and uh we'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching